Hey everyone, it's Lois and today I'm going to show off some tips and tricks that I know. Now I've been asked a few times about different things that I've showed off in videos. Now I want to explain and give a little tutorial on how to do certain things. Now the first one I want to show off is how to wire glitch. Now all you need is a power conduit and the wire and a power source, whatever that could be. So as you can see, this doesn't go through the wall by itself, so you have to use the glitch. Now what you do is that you click on the wire closest to the conduit, it kind of flashes and then you click on it. So instantly it goes through the wall, as you can see there. The next trick I'm going to show you is how you stack foundations on top of each other. It could be the concrete one or the wooden one, but in front of me now I have the concrete foundation. Now what you need is a shack stairwell and you place it just at the top. Now you get another shack foundation and you can easily connect it to the top of the stairs. It automatically becomes kind of a tower and you use this if you want to rebuild the um, castle walls. Now the next trick I'm going to show you is how you can put any kind of walls or foundation into a ground. Now all you need is a shack bridge and your required structure. You place the shack bridge or you can even use a concrete pillar up against the thing you want to move down and you press and hold X or A and you can drag it straight into the ground so you can make really unique structures with it. Now I've been asked a few times of how to get settlers to your settlement. Now the first easy way to you do it is if you go in the power section, go miscellaneous and then you find a recruitment radio beacon. Now put power to it and it will send a signal out and it will um, it will attract settlers to come to your settlement. Now another easy way to do it is if you go up to a settler in a different settlement that has been there, you can either press the X square, the X button on Xbox or the square on PS4 um, and that will, and you can easily send a settler to that location you desire. So to example this, I go up to Kate, press that button and it will give me a load of different locations that I can send her to. This will be a tip of how to fix walls. Now, uh, I kind of had a bit of a blooper reel here. I tried to do it here and then as you can see, Longfellow's having a hard time. I wonder why. And this bitch comes out of nowhere. Now if you ever want a really powerful weapon, definitely get Adam's Judgment. You get that through the new DLC Far Harbor and if you go through the um, Children of Atom route. Now other than that, let's get back to the uh, fixing walls. Now you get your own wall. This, this wall is the best one to use if you want to fix up walls because it's flat and it's, it looks like you boarded up it. And so you place a rug next to it and then you hold down the bottom button, so that's X on PS4. I cannot remember for the life of me what it was on Xbox. Hold it down and then you can pick it up. And it will become pretty easy to maneuver it into walls like this. And that's how you fix walls. It's pretty easy. Now there's two main ways I get my resources. Now it's easily in Diamond C. Alright, got one. I'll take a look, sure. A bit of everything. From her I can get a load of steel, usually she sells them in full bulks. So as you can see down there, she has a lot of different junk, but mainly I focus on either concrete or steel. As you can see, it sells about four of them, so that means 400 amounts of steel. I have a lot of steel at this moment in time. Now over to Arturo. I'll take a look, sure. Everything. His main junk is copper, that helps with wiring up your settlement. Hey. These ain't just any old pieces of wood. Let's see what you have. With Mo, he really sells just wood. So if you want to keep recharging it, just From keep coming. sitting down and um, waiting for 20, 48 hours and then it will re redo itself. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of different junk in my inventory. And the way you can easily find it is by having this little magnifying glass. So you have to press the. L1 button and it will give a little magnifying glass right next to it. So when you look around the wastelands you'll easily find those items. 
Now in my workshop, as you can see, I have a lot of junk. A lot. And that's because I spend most of my time when walking around the, um, the wasteland, I always find, I literally pick up everything. And that comes in handy. A lot. Especially with decorating with junk. If you pick up everything, you're sorted for the rest of it. Now when I go and build menu, I'll show you how much. Um, I don't have a lot of wood at the moment. So I'll probably need to go back to Far Harbour. But the amount of cloth and steel I have, as you can see, I have quite a lot from just collecting stuff. So they are my main resources that I try to find. Now, before I leave this, I want to show off what kind of um, traits you need to pick up. The first one is definitely strong back, so you can carry as much as you can. This definitely helps in picking up everything from the wasteland, trust me. It was a pain otherwise. Now the other trait you should really buy, or get, is Lone Wanderer. This also makes you gain some more carry weight, which is also very, very helpful. And I'll show this off, because right now, I have, let's have a look, I have 320 carry weight and that's because I've got a companion with me. Now I go over to my companion and I tell him to fuck hey, off. Got something you need done? Bye. It's time for you to head home. Good luck, baby cat. So he's fucking off right now. So I remember I had like 320, I think. <laughs> I don't remember shit. And now I have 420. Yeah, you can make many jokes about that. But overall, that is it. That is most of the tips and tricks that I know of. If you want any more, comment down below. I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, and night. And I love you all so, so much. Bye.